In this video, I'll walk you through what PLC SIM Advanced is, how it works, use API, and why I think every Siemens programmer should have it in their toolbox. What is S7 PL SIM Advanced? For those who never used it, S7 PL SIM Advanced lets you simulate your Step 7 user program on a virtual PLC instance, so you don't need a real controller connected. The cool part is that PL SIM Advanced isn't just a dummy PLC. It can use Ethernet communication, simulate distributed I.O. systems, and it includes an API that lets external applications talk directly to the simulation. You might be thinking, but I already have S7 PLC SIM inside TIA Portal. Why do I need Advanced? If you want a virtual PLC that behaves like a network device and can talk to real HMIs, Modbus, OPC UA, or your digital twin, you want PLSIM Advanced. Standard S7 PLC is mainly for simple local simulation. Communicates via Softbus only, so it can't act like a real Ethernet device on your network. One of the big strengths of PLC SIM Advanced is how much communication it can simulate. Some highlights, PG communication for commissioning and diagnostics, open TCP ISO on TCP UDP communication, Modbus TCP with MB client and MB server, S7 communication put get, B send BRCV, U send URCV, email OPCU server simulation, web server simulation, HTTP HTTPS, and so on. Let's download now PLC SIM Advanced. Link where to download is in video description. You will find here hardware requirements for simulation. Click this link to download. You may need to log in to your Siemens account. Double click on downloaded file. You will get this pop up to open file. That will then open your drive installation folder. Click on .exe file. You may be asked to restart your PC. If yes, then do so. After restart, you need to open your downloaded file again before pressing retry on this pop-up. I will install Update 1 for PLC SIM Advance 2. Installation steps are exactly the same, so I will skip it. Let's open PLC SIM Advance by clicking icon on the desktop. This is our main user interface. PLC SIM Advanced actually has two UI modes. Quick View opened with a right click on the taskbar icon. It's a compact view that you can quickly show or hide. Clicking on the desktop minimizes it, but your running PLC instances keep running. PLC SIM Advanced has a different communication paths. PLC SIM Softbus, local only. This is the default online access. Communication is restricted to the local PC or VM. Big advantage, you cannot accidentally download to a real hardware CPU. Safe sandbox. TCP IP single adapter uses the PLC SIM virtual ethernet adapter. The virtual switch can see all frames on a physical NIC and route them to the simulated PLCs. That means you can connect simulated PLCs to other devices over the real network. Real HMIs, SCADA, other PLCs, etc. TCP IP multiple adapter uses the PLC SIM virtual Ethernet concept, but in a more IT-friendly way. 
only frames destined for that MAC address are processed. This is better for corporate networks and most virtual environments. Virtual time and timing options. A virtual time slider lets you set the time scaling factor, slower than real time, real time or faster than real time simulation. There's also a strict motion timing checkbox that affects motion control overrun detection, OB91 motion control. This is handy when you're simulating motion systems and don't want constant overrun diagnostics during testing. Virtual PLC Instances Instance name, a unique name for each simulated PLC. The manual specifies 3 to 64 characters and the start button only becomes active when the name is unique in the network. CPU type. Choose whether you want an S7-1500 or ET-200 SP type, unspecified until TIA gives it the exact model with the first download. If you're using the PLC SIM Virtual Ethernet Adapter, you also get fields for IP address, subnet mask, and gateway to assign network settings to the instance directly from the control panel. Let's create an instance. We can disable instance by clicking on off button or delete instance by clicking X button. There's a field for the runtime manager port. This lets you open a local port and keep it stored so you can connect to remote PLC SIM runtimes without reconfiguring the port every time. It's useful if you're running simulations spread across several PCs or VMs. Virtual Somatic Memory Card lets you open the folder that acts as the virtual memory card for your instances. I found is useful just to drop and drag required PLC into UI. You can as well disable notifications if needed. Then we have link to very useful manuals. And button to close PLC SIM. Let's do software, we can pin PLC SIM to keep it on the top. We will check our PLC IP address and then set all addresses for adapter cards. We are going to use local area in a connection. So it means inside our PC, but still allowing for external connection. We need to set our virtual PLC adapter to the same range as our virtual PLC. Make sure that adapter you are using has tick box for virtual adapter enabled.
Let's connect to PLC. I will create simple logic to test virtual time set point. To use clock function, I need to enable it in hardware configuration. I will just create simple counter, which is time dependent to test our virtual timer. Okay, we had few problems like wrong memory bit, etc. But this is how you learn programming. Now, as program is downloaded, we can change virtual time and see as our counter changes. Okay, most exciting thing for me is API. You can get manual from UI as I shown you before. Here is an example code written as C sharp. Here is the code to open instance. And write below code to read and write PLC tags to from PLC.
I will start app, which is using API to control I.O. of PLC SIM Advanced. Now I turn off instance in PLC SIM and I will start it using API app. Now with our app, I can select the state of the tag and write it to PLC. This is very useful when you want to write unit testing for your code. With API, you can use symbolic addressing. We will change our tag name to stop. If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe to Antimatics, and share it with another Siemens nerd who's still waiting for hardware to show up.